punk revolution. Hey everybody, today we are going to be reviewing Jerome's Dreams third album LP, Jerome's Dream. For those of you who aren't familiar with the band Jerome's Dream, let me tell you, they are a freaking legendary screamo, emo violence band. Their first album, which came out in 2000, titled Seeing Means More Than Safety, um, that is a freaking intense roller coaster of an album. Re highly recommended to anybody. Oh, look. You can see me in the mirror. Anyways, uh, their first album, highly recommended to anyone interested in screamo or emo violence. Just a chaotic release. Intense, 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 powerful, crazy, crazy, crazy. And the vocals are just shrieking, just freaking crazy. Anyways, so yeah, uh, 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 this is an essential screamo band. They also have a split with the legendary uh, screamo band Orchid. So you know they are freaking major names in this genre. So pretty exciting to see that they're going to be releasing a a, a, a comeback album. Uh, you know, their first album was released in 2000. Their second album, um, Presence, which was more of a noise rock release than screamo. The vocals were more of like a monotone, uh, like kind of shouting rather than um, screamo like shrieking um came out in 2001 and this album that i'm reviewing right now lp their third album is coming out in 2019 18 years after their last album so quite a freaking comeback album you know and of course being a punk revolution channel obviously we're, we are going to be reviewing jerome's dreams new album because jerome's dreams are freaking punk freaking legends so without further ado let's review lp let's take a look at the freaking album cover and I don't really have too much to say about this album cover. It's just, you know, it's a nice, cool album cover. Pretty, you know, pretty standard. Nothing too, nothing too crazy to say about it. I, I just like to show the album cover because I'm a nice freaking guy. <laughs> Anyways, so what's going on here musically? Musically, I think if you are a fan of their first album, which I think is probably their most popular album, um, you might kind of be a little disappointed with their second album, uh, which came out in 2001. Um presence because it wasn't so much of a screamo album as it was kind of a noise rock release and um i think likewise you're also going to be uh uh disapp disappointed by their third album lp because their third album kind of follows the same direction as their second album with with uh with being a more you know notably the vocals i mean like let's just like say it, the freaking vocals are just completely different the first album are just so the, fr the, the vocals in the first album to me are freaking iconic just crazy freaking shrieking and then in the second and third album they're really just kind a monotone like ma 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 which is like you know like can can be disappointing for some but i think you can kind of get some enjoyment out of these albums for sure if you go into it not thinking okay i'm gonna be listening to uh uh, uh you know the screamo band drums dream i'm gonna be think i'm gonna be listening to the noise rock uh band jerome stream so an L LP, what makes it different than their second album is their second album was more of like a noise rock thing, like I said. Their third album, uh, LP, while certainly having elements of noise rock, is going to be borrowing more elements of post-rock. More of a post-hardcore, post-rock release. Post-hardcore and post-rock go together like peanut butter and jelly. Oh, there I am in the mirror. So, uh, like, like I said, peanut butter and jelly, uh, lots of screamo, of course, has a ton of elements of post-rock and post-hardcore uh, combining together. So, we are still hearing some of Jerome's Dream's roots as a screamo band in the instrumentation. You're definitely going to still hear, oh, this is the same band. But like I said, vocals... Going to be more of a monotone, ma, 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 whatever. I don't even, I can't even freaking do it. Just go listen to a song of it and you'll get the point immediately. Um, and I mean, so kind of just to kind of sum up the review of this album, instrumentations, pretty cool. Nothing we haven't heard before. Like kind of, you know, pretty interesting, like decent post-rock, post-hardcore. I mean, I love post-rock and post-hardcore. Vocals get tiring really, really, really fucking fast. You know, at first I kind of liked the vocals because it is like really jarring and really weird how monotone and strange it is. Um, but, uh, you know, listening to a full album of it, it gets tiring really freaking fast. And, you know, it's just so disappointing because the instrumentation is pretty good here. You know, I like the like the instrument, the, the instrumental interludes, like especially in the second half of the album. Um, but, you know, like if the vocals just were like, you could understand the lyrics maybe. If there's more, if, they, if he was like singing different notes, if he was... Um, 
inflex, uh, uh, like there was different inflections in the words he was singing. I feel like this album could have been really, you know, I could have given this album like at least a 7.5 if the vocals were outstanding. But given that the vocals are actually just like, really just like not for me, I'm giving this album a five out of 10. I think most people are going to agree with my opinion that the vocals do, uh, you know, kind of d bring down the quality of this al album. So for me, I would recommend this uh, this album to people who are a big fan of Jerome's Dream's second album, Presence. I would recommend it to people who are a big fan of Jerome's Dream in general and want a to hear them still add it a little bit. But I really wouldn't recommend it to the general public too much unless you're like really a hardcore Jerome's Dream fan. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. You know, I still kind of enjoyed the instrumentation and, you know, it's nice to, it was kind of nostalgic for me to hear um, more Jerome's Dream stuff. But like I said, you know, if I'm just being, into, what the hell is that, my thumb? But if I'm being entirely honest, you know, not the best album I've heard all year. Five out of ten. That's just what I'm just, you know, that's just me being honest. Still, Jerome's Dream is a legendary band. Go check out their first album if you haven't heard it before. Go check out their split with Orchid. Thanks so much for watching. Punk Revolution now.